Hi guys, Jared Wiggins here from TechnoRC and today we're going to be talking about our new droop gauge. Part number TKR3701. This gauge allows you to check the droop accurately at the hex instead of using the shock length. So what you get in the bag are two blocks and a gauge that goes both directions, positive and negative, to eight. And the reason it's important to set droop this way is because whenever you're setting with shock length, you're only checking the shock. And so whenever you adjust your pills or especially your axle height, your rear hub height, any of those things can change your droop at the axle, even though your shock length is, is the same. So it's important to check this way to get consistent droop settings across all different setups and keep things comparable. You'll wanna have a nice flat surface like a setup board. Um, you'll set your blocks up, they fold flat. So you wanna twist them out, set them a little ways apart and place your buggy on top or your truggy on top. And you wanna be careful to make sure they're not touching your skid plates. You want them in the flat part of the chassis uh, away from any engine mount screws or anything that protrudes below the bottom of the chassis to get a consistent measurement every time. So when you go to measure, you'll take your gauge and on this you'll notice there's two zero points. Those are the mid-range and so the zero means the center of your axle is level with the bottom of your chassis. And then you have your minus side which is one, two, and three millimeters lower than the chassis. And your positive side which is you know one, two, and three millimeters above the chassis. Generally this side and some of this is used for the front and for the rear you're usually always in the negatives. For the ranges for a buggy you can be as high as plus three or plus four droop in the front, as low as minus three droop, and in the rear from minus two to minus five, depending on the conditions and the driver preference. For Truggy, it's a very similar range, um, plus two to minus three in the front, and anywhere from minus three to minus eight in the rear. Personally, I like to run zero in the front, minus five in the rear for buggy, and zero in the front, minus five in the rear as well for Truggy. So you'll take your gauge and place it underneath your axle. So if we're gonna start with zero in the front, we're a little bit high. You'll adjust your droop screw. So you see the axle connect to the droop block. Compress it, give it a couple taps, make sure it's settled in there. And you're all set. So that'd be setting at zero. If you wanna set positive, you'll use this side of the gauge and pick your spot. Uh, same thing for the rear, if we're gonna set at minus five, right here. So we're a little bit high. We'll lower it until we touch the gauge. And then do the same thing, compress a little, give it a tap, and double check it. So once you're all set, you should be good to go. You check both sides individually. And it's important to recheck this setting a couple times a day. Just like your ride height, it can change if you hit stuff or get mud in your droop screws. Um, but this tool makes it super easy to do and super consistent across any setup. Pick one up at technorc.com. And thanks for watching.